Hello and welcome to another deck tech. Today we're looking at Slivers, a highly synergistic 5 color aggro deck. Starting off with our 1 drops, we have 4 striking slivers and 4 gale rider slivers. These are all the 1 drop slivers that are available and since we're an aggro deck we want to have as many of them as possible and their abilities are actually quite relevant. First strike is good on offense and defense, you can double or triple block someone and get away with it thanks to first strike and flying gives your entire team evasion which is good if your creatures are smaller than the opponents. Our two drops are an embarrassment of riches, we have four mana weft slivers which is the only accelerant in the deck, it also fixes our mana so if we don't have the perfect mana base we can still get away with it. The Leeching Sliver and Predator Sliver fulfill the same role, which is killing your opponent as quickly as possible. Predatory Sliver is better in combat and combines well with First Strike and Double Strike, while Leeching Sliver always gets damage through, which is good if your opponent has a lot of blockers out. So they both are very important to the deck and I wouldn't run any less than 4 of each. Then we have some additional 2 drops that are also present in the sideboard if we need additional copies. Sentinel Sliver is very good at racing because we can attack and keep blockers back at the same time. It also combos very well with Mana Weft Sliver because we can attack and in our second main phase tap all our untapped slivers to cast something else. Then Diffusion Sliver is our best option against spot removal and I like Venom Sliver against any type of mid-range creature deck and with first strike it makes for a deadly combination. Moving on to the 3 drops, we have Siphon Sliver, which is our best option against decks that are trying to kill us quickly. Blur Sliver giving everyone haste is not to be underestimated, also combos with Mana Weft Sliver, so you can tap creatures immediately to try and vomit out your hand as quickly as possible. And finally we have Card of Calling, which is not really a 3 drop, but thanks to the many 1 and 2 drops we are able to cast it pretty quickly. The Convoke mechanic is a little bit like having a Mana Weft Sliver in play, except for the mana fixing part, but once we resolve this we get to look for any sliver we want for converted mana cost X or less, which is very useful if we're looking for a specific sliver for a certain situation. This also works well with Vigilance and the fact that it's an instant means you can try and blow out your opponent mid-combat by flashing in first rank or death touch or making all your slivers one bigger. We only have one 4 drop sliver available but it's a pretty good one, giving all your slivers double strike. Doesn't combo with leeching sliver but does combo very well with predatory sliver and with battle sliver that we'll see next. Taking a look at the top of our curve we have battle sliver giving all our creatures plus 2 plus 0, is very good with first and double strike. We also have Sliver Hive Lord, which makes all our creatures indestructible, is very good against any type of sweeper, which is the deck's biggest weakness, and one Megantic Sliver to go over the top when needed. The mana base in the deck is pretty interesting since we're a 5 color deck. We are running 4 mana confluence, which generate every color at the cost of 1 life. Sliver Hive is by far the most important land in the deck, and without it this 5 color version could not exist. It makes mana of every color for free when casting slivers, and in the late game you can also activate it to generate a colorless sliver token. Mutavolt is especially powerful in this deck because it also counts as a sliver, so it gets all the bonuses of your other slivers, but because we are a 5 color deck we can only afford to run 2 of them, because we need those colored mana sources. And then we round out our mana base with a couple of shock lands, most of them are green because we have more green slivers, but also in order to cast Court of Calling. Taking a look at the main deck curve, we can see we have a lot of 1 and 2 drops, which is good. We are lacking in the 4 drops, but we can make up by playing 2 2 drops on turn 4, and then we have a couple of 5 and 6s to round out the main deck. Moving over to the sideboard, we have a plan against removal heavy decks, 1 Sliver Hive Lord, 3 Diffusion Slivers, and 1 Obelisk of Erd, which combines well with all our cheap slivers. If we are facing aggro decks, we can side in two additional siphon slivers and two sentinel slivers to make those races go in our favor. Against mid-range creature decks, we have additional venom slivers, which also combine very nicely with thorncaster sliver, making all your creatures deal one damage with a death touch means you can kill a creature right away. And then we also have two additional card of callings, which are good if you're expecting a grindy matchup where the game will go a little longer. 
So that's it for this deck tag. I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave questions in the comments below. And as always, have a nice day.